Hey, good morning, guys. So it's the last morning of my trip in St. Lucia. Um, and I've decided to head out to the Cape Vidal uh, boat launch site. So it's about a 47 kilometer drive from the St. Lucia town center. And uh, instead of um, heading out of town and, and back onto the N2, you actually uh, go through the big circle and you head north along the coast. Um, there is a rufous-bellied heron uh, in one of the pans that I'm going to try and get and then uh, maybe, uh, you know, just drive past the pans and get some more of the water birds and, and uh, things like that. Um, Cape Vidal is uh, home to elephants and of course hippo uh, and uh, the bird guide I was with on Friday afternoon, Ian, uh, does guided tours and he says he's come across leopards uh, rarely but they are, um, you know, there in, in the reserve. So I'll try and, uh, you know, do a, a morning drive basically. I've decided to leave St. Lucia at, uh, well, it's about 25 past six now, uh, just because I didn't want to be driving through uh, Cape Vidal in the, in the dark. I don't want to come up on any elephants uh, in, in the middle of uh, the night. So um, let's see um, how it goes. And uh, uh, we'll get out to the uh, lighthouse and the launch site and then uh, maybe have a quick breakfast there and turn around and come back to St. Lucia and then start making our way back to Joburg. So uh, it's half past six now. I estimate that uh, should be at the boat launch site around uh, half past eight, you know, giving time for doing some of the pan loops and then uh, from the launch site back uh, to St. Lucia is an hour's drive on the Tard Road. So I'll stick to the Tard Road coming back. All right, cool. I'll uh, update you with progress as we get along uh, and then uh, we'll see what we see. So there are quite a few warnings throughout town for the hippos and uh, crocodiles and wild animals, snakes. Uh, but I think one of the biggest nuisances in the town itself is the vervet monkeys. Uh, they seem to run riot, so I just saw a troop moving through the center of town again. Obviously, the, the hippos are a big, a bigger threat because uh, the vervet monkeys are just a nuisance. They steal food, whereas um, the hippos can kill you. So if you do come across a hippo, it's a bigger threat, obviously. Okay guys, we in. Uh, so the gate procedure is um, they stop you and uh, spray for foot and mouth. Oh, uh, you have to get out of your car and go and pay first. Um, entrance is 65 Rand per person and 60 Rand for the car. Uh, and if you had a Rhino card, it would have just been five Rand for the entry. The Rhino card allows you entry into all the Isambelo, KZN uh, wildlife parks. Um, but they don't sell the card at the gate. There's an Isambelo office that opens at eight o'clock that you have to buy the card in. So if you are planning to, for instance, go to um, Cape Vidal and then also uh, maybe go to Shlishlui, it makes sense to um, buy the Rhino card because you're basically paying um, 165, I mean uh, 125 Rand per day uh, if you're just a single person. So in uh, three visits um, to Ezembelo wildlife um, parks for a year you've covered your cost 
Oh wow. Oh, we're in next stock. So, unfortunately, I uh, wasn't able to get the Rhino card. I would have loved to have gotten it, then it would have given me an excuse to come down to Shishlui later in the year. Um, but what I think is uh, on the way out, I'll, I'll go past and present my um, receipt, and hopefully, they'll be able to. Yeah, Virtual Skoko. Um, refund me on today's visit and actually put that money towards the Rhino card. Let's see what they what they say. But uh, you know, all you can do is try. So we inside uh, the um, well, it's still part of the Isi Mangalisu uh, Wetlands Park. This is called, I think, Eastern Shores. So you drive along this road. Um, the beach is just over the dune, about a kilometer from where we are at the moment. You do get the opportunity to go down to the beach and walk on the beach, uh, which I'll possibly try and take uh, later on. Um, and then, oh, now we're entering the wildlife area. And then maybe get some shorebirds. Uh, as well so let's see how it goes i keep seeing kingfishers on the line that i have to check each one because it could be a mangrove or it could be a striped or it could be a brown hooded there were a couple brown hoodeds that um fooled me earlier, a female and a male. So you have to just make sure. Good on you, what are you? It was a cuckoo hawk. A cuckoo hawk? Yeah. Oh, wow. He's just flown, but it was, yeah, my sister saw. So. Oh, that's a good sighting, eh? It's a very good sighting. Yeah. No, it's great. But he's just gone into the bush here. How's your day been? Quiet so far. Yeah, I did that. Uh, but <laughs> I would have loved to see the cuckoo hawk. Yeah, no, <laughs> And that's why I guess the other birds are uh, yeah. alarm calling. <laughs> oh wow.
guys so we at the beach at Cape Vidal so there are um, chalets and uh, camps that you can uh, camp here so you can uh, stay overnight at the Cape Vidal beach conifers on the dunes to get to the beach I'm sure these were planted here Steam Beach. Wow. So, I come from the coast, but I've not seen such a vast expanse of beach, I think, ever before. It just goes on forever and ever. I'm sure if you keep walking, you can walk into Mozambique. This is a big wow for me, guys. Guys, it's a pity I need to drive back to Johannesburg today. Um, because if I had more time, I would have loved to just stay on the beach, maybe try my hand at some spoon fishing. So, uh, one of the fishermen had his bag limit of shad already for the day. So, I think fishing with a spoon would have been quite good. I think I'm going to head back now, but I think I've decided where I'm coming for my summer holidays. That's if I can get a booking, obviously. Maybe January will be better. It must get blazing hot here, though. So drive Johannesburg, St. Lucia, stay a night in St. Lucia, or two nights in St. Lucia, and then drive up here, spend a few days here, and make your way back to Joburg. Okay, cool. So I think this is the end of the vlog for Saint, for Isimangaliso, Eastern Shores and Cape Vidal and I'm gonna head back to Johannesburg now. Um, hey guys, so I think just uh, to uh, add on the Cape Vidal uh, trip, um, so to get to Cape Vidal is Oh, African Pride and Rice Flycatcher. Ah, oh, he flew away. Um, so, 
from St. Lucia to Cape Vidal is 47 kilometers. Um, and it's about 45 kilometers inside the inside the Isimangi Liso Park. So the speed limit uh, is uh, 50 kilometers per hour for most parts and then it drops down to 40 at uh, certain points and then um, I think like here in and around the camp at Cape Vidal it's uh, 20 kilometers an hour so you have to give yourself if, if you're planning to come through you know just on a day trip you have to give yourself at least an hour without any stopping to drive uh, and then if you are going to stop uh, like I did at uh, the various uh, pans and lookout points uh, you can add uh, another couple hours to that so I left um, the front gate uh, just going on about seven o'clock uh, it was uh, gray and dark um, so I didn't want to be driving uh, you know in the dark uh, not knowing the terrain or where I was going um, and it's now just about uh, five past ten so uh, it's taken me you know three hours just um, getting to Cape Vidal and then walking around and um, getting out of the various lookout points doing some birding along the way as well um, so you know you can probably just uh, drive straight here and then in the afternoon you can drive straight back the gate time is um, six o'clock in the evening um, and I think it's six o'clock in the morning as well in the winter time uh, and there is a fine uh, for missing gate time of 500 rand so um, you know if you are leaving Cape Vidal I'd say to be safe you'll need to leave Cape Vidal close to four just to get back to the gate in time and um, you know that that will keep you safe in case there are any um, you know elephants on the roads or anything like that I was told you will get elephants on the road and um, not too long ago I think about a month back there was an incident with an elephant uh, attacking a, a car on this um, Cape Vidal Road from St. Lucia um, but I've not seen any elephants I saw evidence uh, of elephants closer to uh, where I am now so the camp here at Cape Vidal um, with some uh, spore um, alongside the road uh, I think they like the more dense forest uh, areas but maybe we'll see them now when we're going back out and if I do I'll take some pictures and add them to the video okay I'm going to sign off uh, for from Cape Vidal and uh, this is probably going to be the last video in the St. Lucia series so signing off on that as well it's been a superb trip and definitely uh, definitely gonna book and, and come back and spend more time in this part of the world maybe not so intense on the birding maybe just come to relax and um, do a beach holiday and you know that will be um, good in the summertime although you know it's still middle of winter but it's 23 degrees so it's pleasant and the humidity is uh, a bit lower so wintertime visits are also quite good okay that's all from me uh, the South African Wanderer and catch you on the next one